have what looks like a gold earring. I'm going to guess that this part is not gold and this part is. But you can see that there's two pieces of metal right there. The nitric acid is going to decide what's real and what's not. First I want to file the, the earring so we can see if it's plated. It's tough to tell but I filed it right there. I can't tell if it's gold or not so let's see. So I'm going to heat up just a little bit of nitric acid and 50% water. It's getting pretty warm, so I'm going to put it in there. And it should start reacting pretty quickly. You can see it reacting. It's starting to. You can see the steam in the video a little bit. It's boiling now. So my 50-50 mix did not do the job. So I'm going to pour away this extra liquid. I want you to see it doesn't stick to the magnet, which means that it's non-ferrous. That means no steel or iron. Even the stem doesn't stick to the magnet. I think this is 14 karat. Nitric acid dissolves everything but gold. It looks like it ate away the solder, but both these pieces look like they're gold. So I put this earring in nitric acid. All it did is eat the solder. Let's go a step farther. Without this flying across the room, I'm going to cut it in half. You can see where I cut it. It might be brass, it might be gold. This will go into my beaker. Next I'm going to cut this in half. Now I'm going to use full strength acid on this and try again. We have what might be a gold earring. Let's put it in acid and see what it does. 20 milliliters of this. Alright, full strength nitric acid. Let's turn on the heat. It's not dissolving the outside so I assume that it's gold plated. So this is my earring and I'm dissolving the base metal with nitric acid and it got dry so I added some cold acid and you can see it cracked the beaker. Still reacting pretty good. I think it was gold plated. Let's see what happens when I add more. Well I need a new beaker. It goes to show you keep it hydrated. So I'm testing jewelry today to see if it's real. This is 68% nitric acid. Full strength and I put an earring in there that I think is 14 karat gold. But the blue shows me that there is some base metal in there. It's reacting pretty good. So we'll see what happens. So this is the earring that I dissolved yesterday in acid. And it's definitely plated because when I crush it, it just comes apart. You see? But that's why I'm going to refine it with some more jewelry. And I'll get some pure gold out of it. 